Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and we are still up here in Bakersfield, and we're up here with my friend Nick from Chevelle Factory. So yours is a, it's a 70 also, right? It's a 70 Chevelle. 70 is iconic for me in a personal way. My dad had a 70 Chevelle, and when I was about 14 and a half, 15, he gave me the car to start working on and getting it back up on the road, and that was my very first car in high school. You know, I was out having fun with it as a teenager, street racing and having fun and everything, okay. and I got busted, and my dad took it off the street, gave me the ultimatum of either we're going to, you're just going to drive it on the street, you can't play with it anymore, or we're going to build something out of it and actually go racing at the drag strip, no more street racing. Well, being 17 years old, I'm 18 years old, I'm like, yeah, sure, let's build a race car out of it. That car got taken apart. My dad never finished it, and it's basically in pieces. This car I purchased when I turned uh, 30 years old for my birthday to okay. replace that car. So that's why this one's iconic for me because it's basically I get my baby back. And you've had this one, you said 12 years? 12 years now. It's been a long process. It just doesn't happen overnight, but I'm still proud of it. So back in early 2019, I had the opportunity to get connected with Precision Automotive. So this is an LS3. There's so many different ways you can do an LS nowadays. It's oh, just yeah. insane. Oh, yeah. And I got the engine uh, from a buddy that had pulled it from a 2014 Camaro. So I got okay. the engine and I've got the, the TR6060 six speed out of the Camaro. It's got a Brian Tooley cam in it, center force clutch in it, and the dyad clutch, which works really well. Clutch, um, yeah. And then obviously it's got headers and, and the exhaust and whatnot. But other than that, it's just a drop-in tune for the swap. I'm hoping for a 500. Yeah. You know, 495, yeah. yeah. Kraken 5, I, yeah. I'd be happy with it. Yeah. Um, Again, I drive the car as much as possible. It's a, yep. somewhat of a, pretty much a daily driver. So this, yeah. this car's got climbing up to 10,000 miles on it in, in the last, you know, one year of, of having it swapped. That's, that's cool, dude. Cause you, I mean, you know the reality, custom it, it cars is. typically don't get it driven is. that much right. in their entire life. Right. Let right. alone inside of a year. I, I'm already looking and I can see you've got suspension going on. And So it's it's really a straightforward build. It's got Speedtex full suspension for, for autocrossing, which also includes our upgraded chicane coilover kit. So the, the car has true coilovers front and back on it. That helps out because now I'm able to adjust for ride height, a little bit more fine tune. The shocks are Viking shocks, which they have compression and rebound on it. I'm running 19 by 10s up front with uh, 20 by 10s out back. And those okay. are by Rush fourth wheels and they're wrapped with nato tires now on the rear are you still running leafs no so it's a factory four link but it's been converted over to a coil over shock it's running a fab nine nine inch it's got the wheel woods in the back as well paint is 12 years old i bought it and painted this way and i'm the one that blacked everything out on the car it was pretty okay. much all stock when i first got it 12 so years it was ago. chrome bumpers it was chrome and... bumpers chrome mm -hmm. trim had some 20 inch polished wheels on it it looked totally different but at the end of the day i just wanted to give it a little bit more i call it the street fighter look a car that wants to go out and just you Cause know some trouble yeah and so <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I wanted a little bit more sinister look to it. So I blacked yeah. everything out yeah. and uh, it was crazy. It just kind of stuck and it just kept on, it stayed that way and everyone yeah. either they like it or they hate it. Now, is it real carbon, your hood and your trunk? Yes. The spoiler on the bottom is carbon fiber, the deck lid in the back, and then also the hood made by a company, Anvil Auto. I want to say it was like nine, nine years ago or so. They had just produced them. So this has been on here that yes. long? Yes. Wow, that's a testament to the I product, get a lot right? of people asking me like, hey, how's those things hold up and everything? I'm like, well, I've had them for about nine years now. And, and a lot of miles. And a lot of miles. I know you'd mentioned uh, exhaust, but mm -hmm. what is it Black Widow you're it running It is Black Widow, there? yes. Okay. Yeah. Is that from header back? Yeah, so I got the, the headers. They went to, to two and a half inch and it's uh, an X-pipe, stainless steel. It gives a little bit different tone with the stainless steel. And then I went with the Venom 250s. These Venom 250s, oh man, they're just... Uh, I can cruise at lower RPM and I can still talk on the phone. I can get into it at higher RPM and everyone's like, man, that thing sounds crazy. That sounds great. Your car, your car sounds really good. So I got best of both worlds out of them. You know, it's funny. I've been around your car and I've looked inside a yeah. little bit, but I've never actually looked. I mean, it's really cool the way you've got this set up. Like you've still got your stock panels, yep. right? Yep. So this is a Malibu originally. Okay. It's not an SS. I did get an SS dash and then I bought um, the aftermarket billet inset uh, for the gauges. Mm -hmm. And those are all running autometer gauges. We've uh, done vintage air. So it's got full AC on it, which nice. works great. I, I just got the windows done. They did auto electric door locks on it and alarm. So now I don't have to lean over and unlock the door anymore. I don't have to lean over and roll up the windows uh, or anything. I mean, it's, it's just great. That's it's rad. Taking that's... it to, the, to that again, to be able to drive it as much as possible and have all those comforts as a new vehicle, 
but stuffed in an old vehicle. Sure, but like even things, and I know this is a dumb one, man, but it's not a dumb one when it's usable. Oh uh, yeah. The cup holder. And you know what, people, <laughs> it's, it's so crazy because when, when they saw that the center console was getting reworked, which is a factory SS center console that I picked up, they reworked it with a new top plate and they put a single cup holder in it and we moved it up front and it, I think it works perfectly. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and the placement's just awesome. Yeah. yeah. What are these seats from? I think they're called Corbeau. Uh, yeah. They're an aftermarket seat that I picked up 10 years ago. No kidding. Yeah, and I've been rocking them ever since. And, and you never had them, this is how they that's came. That's how they came. Oh, wow. The okay. main feature of why I picked up those seats is that they actually tilt all the way forward. A lot of the different aftermarket seats don't fold all the way forward, so it's like... It's be tough to get your kids Yeah, back. yeah. I mean, people do it, don't get me wrong. I just latched onto th that feature of these seats, sure. and they feel great. Sure. I love the Sparco wheel, too. I think they make great products. That personally. is something that just recently got put in and it's so comfortable they're it great. is so comfortable they're great and yeah. i i genuinely i mean the little bit i've yes. met the sparko people they're cool folks yep. they make great products yep i have their driving shoes i have their gloves yeah well dude i think we've talked about everything on your car let's let's pull it outside and let's go for yeah. a little drive I mean, i've seen the car so many times i've heard seen it, so it. we've been times. by each other on the highway and yeah. playing around with your camaro and this yeah, oh, yeah. Man. so yeah let's let's take you for a ride let's do it all awesome. right man get the people that gripe about it. It's such a great sounding car. Car pulls good. Nice little double clutch action there. It's just nice when it gets in the RPMs. Not the fastest car that you've been in. No, it's but not, but it's a great car. It feels right on the yeah. road. It sounds great. Pulls good. It's throwing me back in my seat, making me smile. It's checking all the boxes. I'm hoping up until that like ultimate horsepower range. Yeah. Yeah. controlled you're chill you've been driving forever you like you're a good driver All right, you guys, that's it for our shoot of Nick's badass 70 Chevelle that he drives all the time. I don't think he drives it like that all the time, but then again, he just might know Nick. And this is one of those that a lot of us can relate to. It lives more on the budget build side as far as save money, save money, save money, do something, and then, you know, the process. So, but just really a badass car. I mean, for me, this is such a great driver, looks great. 
And I love that Nick threw down for us. He was not going to let Matt Grant beat him on doing donuts and burnouts. And uh, I got to say, we might have to have a grudge match with those two guys together. That could be some fun, right? Anyhow, you guys, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.